All right. Um, gonna talk about the race today and what I gathered and saw in the first stage. It's hard to pass the leader, I should say. It's hard to pass the leader. Only one person was able to pass the leader, and that was Kevin Harvick. And, but Logano like dominated like the entire race like that was the first race where the pulsar won the race this season so um, first stage Logano won it Bowman came in second <laughs> came, came through with the pit strategy and got through the field and came from like mid pack to second to finish that stage and Chase finished eighth in that stage. Um, Byron and Johnson were having some good runs, um, but they just couldn't like materialize. Well, Johnson had an excuse because people kept hitting him on pit road like two times. He got hit on pit road and he couldn't get back up to like where he wanted to go. He had a good car. It's just that damage affected his car a little too much. Um, Bowman got some damage on his car, but he managed to get a top 10 finish. Another week with a top 10 for a Hendrick driver, so it's like six weeks in a row now that we had a Hendrick car in the top 10, at least one of them. Um, Chase seemed to have struggled. Like, it was weird. Usually he runs super well there, but this package does not suit that track at all all like there was some good racing but it was not as good as I thought it was gonna be like it wasn't a bad race it's just a little too overhyped for the package like the package does not work on this track um it worked at Kansas and Kansas like speaking of Kansas um always have to wear that shirt because it's my favorite one it's my birthday um like he won on my birthday Anyway, moving on. Um, he started 17th, ended up finishing 20th. And people, okay, I need to shut some, like, shut some people down here. People need to shut up about Alan Gustafson, Chase's crew chief. Every time he has, like, he doesn't win or just has a bad run, they always go, like, go after his head, like, after Alan's head, like, he's such a dumbass, he's an idiot, and this and that, but when he wins, or has, like, a top two finish, like, they're, like, praising him, and, like, people, stop being fair weather people, like, fair weather fans, either you like him or you don't, if you don't, then don't come praising him when they win a race or have, like, a top two finish, or top five finish, whatever, even the top five, top five finish they are going after him, I don't understand that, but anyway, um, like they were t saying, he's such an idiot. It's like he screwed up Chase's race, and this and that. I'm like, hold the h hold the hell up, hold the fuck up. Um, Chase didn't have a good handling car really at all the entire race. He was just managing it well in the first stage and managed to get eighth place finish in the first stage. Second stage, they played pit strategy a little bit so they can get track position. But the draft on the, those restarts sucked so much that no one was helping him like usual. Like, it's like how Daytona and Talladega work. Like, they get, like, uh, left out to dry. Like, hung out to dry. Um, which is what happened. I'm like, what the hell, people? And then he smacked the wall, like, like one time, but it didn't really affect him all that much. Um, but the second time, like, near the, end of the, near the end of the race, kind of, like, in the final stage, he hit the wall, smacked the wall, and that ruined his car. Like, not, like, damaged it, but it just ruined, like, the handling. It was not driving well. And over the radio, he was saying it's, like, it's just getting worse and worse and worse, the handling. So that's why they came in the pit early earlier than they wanted to at least and people are saying that it was on Allen I'm like no Chase wanted to come in and pit the time because his car was just getting worse and worse and worse it was not about strategy it was just 
based on his car sucking so much, like the handling sucking, um, not him. <laughs> or the, but, um, yes, people are just like, I didn't even watch the full race and I know what the hell was going on. Like I was listening to MRN on my phone and they were saying that Chase was saying this car is just getting worse and worse and worse every time. Just after I hit the wall and it was like, so he came down, got tires, got gas, and he just, his, those cautions and restarts were just not his friend today, which is fine. One bad race is not going to kill us. We're still top five in points. Um, we got a stage, some stage points in the first stage. So we're still in the top five. Nothing to be afraid of, like, scared about. We're still in the top five. Fifth in points. But now Joey Logano is now the points leader. Took it over from Kyle Busch. Suck it, Kyle Busch. <laughs> and Kyle Busch was, like, really never a factor in this race, which was uh, amazing. So, but he still managed to get top five, which I don't understand. So, but anyway. Um, and what was I saying? Uh... So, Alex Bowman got top 10. Chase ended up finishing 20th, which doesn't make any sense to me. That, how that This is his first, like, finish outside the top 10 at Michigan, like, ever in his cup career so far. So, two, four, six. In seven starts, this is his only top, like, finish with... That's not a top 10. And that's honestly kind of impressive. So, one bad race. We can just throw this one away. Um, we move on. Like, they have a week off. Chase and Ryan or Ryan Blaney are going to Russia. Um, no, today. Um, and we gone for like a week or so. Um, the cup drivers are off for the weekend. Xfinity and Truck are the stars of the show this weekend. Um, don't remember where they're running at. Oh, they're running at Iowa this weekend. So um, that should be fun. Um, I'm off Saturday, so I get to watch a race. <laughs> I'm not worried about anything. So anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Xfinity and Truck are running this weekend. Cup guys are off. They deserve a time, some time off. Um, then they head to Sonoma which Chase is pretty good at. He got a top five um, finish there the last time we ran there. Um, yeah, he was he finished fourth last, oh, excuse me, last summer, which was like, which led to Watkins Glen and the first win. So he can be a big factor in that race, um, hopefully. We can get a good finish, a win maybe. That'd be great. A couple of wins in the early part of the season would be great. Um, the last race, like, before they move over to the NBC coverage, which, honestly, I personally like better, but I like both, like, like, I like both coverages, but NBC has just, like, a little bit better coverage. They, like, cover everybody, not just, like, single out, like, I don't know. Um, but I like all the commentators on each, like, um, like Fox and NBC. We get to listen to Dale Jr., which would be fun. I love listening to him. He's like, listening to a slide job. <laughs> so that will be fun. Um, so, yeah. Uh, it is late here. It's like it just hit midnight, so it's Tuesday now. Got one more night of work before I have, like, a day off, and I can go get some shit done. I have to do some medical stuff this week. I have to change some stuff over. I have a doctor's appointment on Friday because I have just been, like, a little life update. I have just been very moody lately. Like, I feel like my hormones are kind of off. I don't know what's going on. Like, I've been, like, feeling bloated. I know people feel like, are like, you're so skinny. Wait, I'm like... You're not my body, but to me, I feel super bloated, like, all the time. I feel like I'm gas, like, TMI, but I feel like I'm gassy all the time. Um, I'm, like, I'm hungry all the time. 
but I shouldn't be eating like at all um, that much, I should say. Um, I need to be drinking more water, but my mood swings have been out of control. Like there's like days where like I shouldn't be irritated at anything, but I'm like irritated and frustrated with like everything that goes on. Like at work, I've had major mood swings and people like my employees saw it. Like my like a so co-workers, I should say co-workers, not like um like I'll, one may I'll be like super energetic, like happy and getting shit done, and then the next minute I'm like in a mood and it's really and I'll just go off like in like two point five seconds. So it's really weird. Um just having some female issues going on right now. Um, someone said, like, oh, you must be in your period. I'm like, no, I just had my period. So it's, like, not that. Like, I had that when I was in San Diego, which I was not the ideal thing. But um, plus, since I've been back, I've been working a lot. Got some overtime pay Friday and Saturday, which is honestly good for me. Um, uh... work tomorrow, well, today now, off Wednesday and off Saturday, so, ugh, and I'm, and lately I've just been so tired, like, all I want to do is sleep, like, I just want to nap all the time, I've been sleeping in more, um, that's not a good thing, but, um, going to bed late, sleeping in, I've just been in this weird I don't know, but on Friday, I'm going to figure out what the hell is going on. Like, my face has been, like, bipolar. Like, one minute, it's like, it'll clear up and then be back to, like, looking like shit. And, um, but, I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to go home, wash my face, go to bed. Um, tomorrow, today, I need to put, like, laundry away. I need to do some stuff, like adult stuff. Ugh. Oh, yeah, someone's took, like, stole, like, you know, like, that, um, towing hitch, like, thing on the back of a, of trucks and stuff like that. I have a Tacoma, so I like a, like, Toyota sign thing that you, like, it was, like, screwed into the towing hitch. Like, it's solid, and you have to, like, screw it, like, screw it off to get it off. And, like, I come home one day, and it's just gone. Like, it's not there. So I'm like, who, like, someone literally violated my personal space and my personal property. Someone touched my truck. And that's not okay. And, like, I don't give a shit about the sign itself, but it's the principle of the thing that pisses me off the most. That people don't know personal space or to know that you don't touch other people's vehicles. And steal shit off of it. There's some weird shitty people out there. And I'm like. Whoever took that shit off my truck. Are fucking childish. I'm sorry. But that's just so stupid to do. Um, but I'm going to get a new like cover thing for it. Like. The, whatever. Um, it's going to be a chase one. Um, that number nine thing. And I'm going to get like a number nine like license plate for the front of my truck because I have an additional license plate thing that I can add to the front of my truck. I can screw it in. Um, other than that, I, ooh, I don't even know. Um, I got some, I ordered some Haley Deegan gear. I got a hat, I, monster hat. I got a shirt and it should be here within the next couple days or so. Um, it's, it's shipped, but it's not, I don't even, I don't even know. But, I can't wait to get it because I love that girl. She's a badass and I want to <laughs> represent her as much as possible. So, um, girl power. This is the real girl, girl power, not that liberal bullshit. Um, but anyway, um, okay, I gotta go. This is too long anyway. So, um, I'll talk to you guys another time. I might take a break from social media a little bit to get my mind back in order and my menta mental state back in order. So, um, I'll talk to you guys when I 
maybe after the weekend. I don't know, but I'm not going to make another video this week because I just need to get so many things done. So, um, everyone have a good rest of your week. Enjoy the racing this weekend. Um, and yeah, so I'll talk to you guys later.